Ah, Bioware, rest in peace. You were a great company once. Mass Effect, KOTOR, and yes, even Dragon Age had its good moments. Since Mass Effect 3, since Dragon Age Inquisition, and all the closing down of all your other Bioware studios, and your fan forums, where are you now? Where are you now? You're stuck hiring people to work on your make or break game, Mass Effect Andromeda, like Manveer Air. Now who is Manveer Air, people? Who is this guy? Well, Manveer Air is a game developer who, of course, works for Bioware. Bioware. And this guy just happens to be one massive racist. I know the people among you who are social justice warriors hate my videos will be asking, what? This guy doesn't sound white. How can he be a racist? How? Well, look at these tweets, people, and you will see that this guy is a massive racist. And of course, we have to start off with some of the most egregious examples of these tweets. And it goes along with something like this. White people, I'm not here to make you feel comfortable or okay with yourself or the white supremacy you benefit from. Because, you know, someone who lives in Montreal, Canada, working for a very popular and very successful gaming company is definitely falling prey to white supremacy in a very liberal country run by a very liberal prime minister. He's telling white people that they benefit from white supremacy in Canada. Hell, even in the US. He must be a joy to work with. White people telling me how they are colorblind to race remains hilarious. Oh yes, please tell me how you don't notice colour more. Because like every good social justice warrior, not noticing colour and just judging people based on the character of their person is apparently racist and apparently wrong because if we judge these people on their character we would find that these people are scumbags and we can't do that. We have to judge people on race. And he also has this strange thing about white fragility. He likes to think he can trigger people because he thinks white people people are fragile, like the whole demographic has this thing that makes them fragile to do with race usually, and he says, some people think America's pastime is baseball, but it's actually protecting white fragility. I don't know what white fragility is, I assume it's linked to uh, masculinity so fragile. There's a lot of overlap here, people. In fact, there's a lot of parallels, funnily enough. White people, not understanding why racist things are racist, a tradition unlike any other. Of course, this is just one of many tweets where he is projecting, and in fact, it's quite ironic because he later says, three links on why minorities making white people jokes isn't racist because, you know, when the joke is not very funny and it's racist, it's okay when he does it because he's brown, it's okay if I do it because I'm brown, unless then he finds out I've got white in me, then I'm impure, so it's not okay. But for a white person to tell a joke about anybody else, that's racist. Double standards, people. Double standards. And he is the one who cannot see the racism here. I love the irony, it's amazing. And of course, like any good racist who isn't white, in order to make it look like he isn't racist, he has to say that prejudice towards white people doesn't exist as you can see here. Prejudice against white people can't be a serious thing you're claiming. They don't even approach the same league awfulness. And then he continues with a lot of other stuff, saying LRT, more white foolishness. Apparently that's a hashtag. He probably made it himself. Racism is a thing that totally hampers white lives. How have I ignored the plight of the white man for so long? Because just basically pointing out that racism affects everybody, regardless of their skin colour, is apparently wrong and it should be mocked. And that apparently means that people are saying that white people are victimised when they're not. They're just saying that they are also affected by racism? Yeah. I wonder if you're beginning to see a pattern, people. A pattern that begins with A, or maybe another word. I just can't remember what that word is. I'm sure he'll remind me later on. I'm officially following 1,000 people now. I think I'm going to spend part of today clearing out who I follow. Specifically white men. Yeah. Irrational. Irrational. Again, can you see the pattern emerging? Again, I just can't remember that word. Is it, um, funny how only white people who benefit from systematic advantages, their race affords them ever say we are all just people. Hashtag white foolishness. Oh man, you're really just beginning to sound like you're full of pride. Now what is it? It's false pride, isn't it? I still don't know what the word is, people. And then in response to a article where this Sikh man got beat up, of course, I don't know the context of this and I doubt he's even giving us the context. We don't know who beat up the man. He says the real terrorists are already on American soil and they are white. So basically, because this Sikh man may have been beaten up by white Americans, therefore all white people are terrorists or the terrorists in America are white. I don't quite know what he's getting at, but this is serious bullshit right there. And how does he think that white people can combat racism? Well, unlike what Martin Luther King would have said, he would have said, go and preach equality, go and talk to people about these things. He says, in the same way men can benefit from shutting up and just listening to women's issues, white people can benefit from shutting up. Because your free speech is not welcome here, white man. I'm a brown man. I'm well below you in terms of the oppression Olympics. Therefore, you need to shut up and listen to me because I know, I know 
know more than you just because of what I look like. Nothing more. Again, what is that false pride, people? And then he says, no, my life every single day is already a documentary named White People. I don't really need to see more white tears. Speaking of white tears, don't we think that looks familiar? Hmm, I thought I saw that. And oh yes, I just remembered that word, people. The arrogance of white people faced with questions of race is unbelievable because yes, more projection people. The one person being arrogant about race here is not the mythical white people that he's talking about, but him, Manveer Air. And what does he think about people seeing all this racist stuff and seeing him spout this irrational hatred of people and calling him out on it? I got 99 problems, but worrying that white people think I'm racist against white people ain't one. Hit me. Well, I'm not white and I am worried. Now what drives a man like him who lives in a liberal secular society, a very equal society, a very accepting society as Canada and even US, I don't know if he's Canadian or American so bear with me, develop such a hatred for white people, you know, sure there are racist people out there and you can hate them, that's fine, I don't like those people, but why everyone, why the whole demographic, what have those people who have never hurt you, never harmed you in any way, done to you to deserve this? A lot of them are not as, well, privileged as you. They're not as rich as you. They're not as successful as you. In fact, you're Asian. You are actually more successful than most white people. You and Chinese, Korean, Japanese people always do well in, in the West, in their diasporas. They always do well. You are amongst the most privileged people in society in terms of wealth. Yet, why do you hate these people? What have they done? Maybe you've been a victim of racism before. Yes, I am not doubting that. I have. Loads of people have, regardless of their race, but they don't judge unless they have severe mental problems or experiences the whole race. They just don't. They don't become racist in order to fight racism. And I think really it's the societal double standards that have developed over the last couple of decades that has allowed him to be so open and still have a job with this racism. Bioware are known for being a very social justice friendly, very pandering company. It's funny that he mentions that these white people have gotten where they are because of the system is somehow rigged in their favour, yet chances are he probably was high because of his skin colour alone, because of affirmative action type programmes, because of quotas. Now, I don't know if he was, he probably is a talented game developer, but considering the fact that Mass Effect and Bioware in general has fallen massively over the last couple of years in quality, I highly doubt he's that good if they are where they are today. I'm just saying, people. Thing is, I'm not calling for him to be sacked. I think it would probably be a good thing. It would show consistency and equality on that front, because if white people and other races are going to get fired, he has to get fired fired too, but at least acknowledge that this guy is a serious problem for you in terms of your public relations and this is severely going to impact your sales figures, Bioware, and EA as well, don't forget. There's already people considering not buying Andromeda, not because they already decided, yeah, since Mass Effect 3 and Dragon Age Inquisition, I've decided I'm not buying their products because they're terrible and not giving me good service. This guy is one of the number one reasons why it's failing, and yet it's so funny because in this clip here, he he states this. And so we're getting some new experiences out of it, but we're also reflecting a more fair, less, ne less negative society by doing it. And I think that's kind of important. You heard it, people. By making more social justice friendly games, for making them more representative, blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual tropes and cliches that these people had to spout. And believe me, in the first five minutes of that interview, which is where that clip comes from, you won't believe how much crap he literally spouts. It's just everything you could imagine from the book of social justice in gaming. He believes that being racist to us white people is somehow going to fix all these issues. That, on the one hand, showing this in that interview that always oh, off for equalities, all for all this, but on the other hand, on Twitter, showing what he actually thinks is going to solve the world's issues. It's going to solve gaming's issues. He's not only a hypocrite, because he's trying to make out that he's some kind of warrior for equality in that, and also on Twitter, but he's also a massive idiot. Now, I don't expect Bioware or EA to do anything about this man. Uh, they will continue to dig their own graves. Uh, they will continue to just allow him to spout his bullshit because they're afraid. They're afraid of the negative backlash that a minority of people will complain about while the majority are ignored and that majority will not buy their games as long as this guy is being racist and working for them and also when their output is deteriorating in quality and just in numbers. I could go on people, I could continue to talk about this but I would only be wasting your time. But anyway people that's the end of the video. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel please sub to it and if you love it please donate to that Patreon. Link's down below and I'll see you all later Space Cowboys. <laughs> Thank you.